Hi. Hello. So please introduce yourself. Yeah, hi, I'm uh, Helmut Lord, uh, field application engineer for Nordic Semiconductor here at CES. Uh, today we're showing a couple of new products we have available soon. This is the new generation of our Bluetooth LE uh, system on chips. So we started, a lot of people know us for our 52 series of chips, so that's 52, 840, a number of other things, very wildly popular chips. But we wanted to raise the bar again, so here we are with our 54 series. We're kind of taking a two-pronged approach with this series of chips. There's the 54L series, which is a lower cost, lower performance uh, series of chips, and the 54H series of chips, which is multi-core, a lot of RAM, uh, a lot of non-volatile memory. What's really interesting about these chips is that they um, are dual sourcing in a lot of ways. So both chips are multi-core. They're multi-core with heterogeneous cores. So there are ARM cores and RISC-V cores on the same die. They're also from two different sources, two different foundries. We're a fabless semiconductor. We contract out our, our, the actual production of our chips. So the 54L is made at TSMC, like a number of our chips have been in the past but the 54H is going to be made at global foundries in Germany. So we're trying to diversify our supply chain, diversify even our supply chain of, of IP for our cores. So, yeah. That's really interesting. So that means your customers don't need to be worried about politics. <laughs> Hopefully not. That's yeah. the goal. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, you should also have uh, uh, be able to work with SMIC in China. Yeah, I'm, I'm not familiar. They uh, package the one that fabs in China, so then you, the Chinese won't be worried also by a, a lot of these. I, I think as a, a Western company, it seems that we're, we're very comfortable working with Western suppliers, but I don't think there's any, I, I'm not sure if there's been internal discussion about that. So I, I'm certain we'd be open to it if the opportunity presented itself. And uh, these been on the market already? Yes, so the uh, 52 and 53 series have been on the market for several years. 52 series is coming up on eight years, I think, in the market. 53 series is three or four years old now. So And, and here at the booth, uh, what's the big demos? So we have a number of demos. Um, we have a machine learning on the edge demo here. So this uses the accelerometer on board our Thingy 53 development kit to characterize and, excuse me, uh, to do inference on the edge and to characterize uh, different kinds of movement based on the accelerometer values from this device. We also have a single antenna distance measurement sample here. So it's ranging between these two devices and displaying the distance on this little screen here. CES is a very difficult RF environment. If you open your phone, you'll see 50, 150 Wi-Fi networks. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm doing some of this yeah. with the wireless mics. No, 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 that's no problem. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty difficult to get rangings, but this is a very, very good uh, demo in a coffee shop. We have some more things over here specific to cellular IoT asset tracking. This is our Thingy 91, which is our development uh, platform using our 9160. I'll go ahead and open it up for you so you can see the internals. This uses our 9160 system and package, which is this guy here in silver. This is a cellular and GPS receiver. 4G? 5G. 5G. 5G standards, yes. So you make the 5G modem. Yes, it's a modem, but it's not just a modem. It's also an application core in the same package. So uh, in the best power saving mode available, our floor current is 10 microamps, which is the best in the business. So you have the best power efficient, most power efficient 5G modem in the world. Yes, for, for machine applications, absolutely, yes. So this example here, when I hit this button, this is using some of our cloud services to make sure we're Yep. So when I hit this button, it will do single cell locationing. So it'll find the nearest cell tower and report a location. So if I zoom out, I can show you the ID of our device over here. So I think we have we have a number of devices all over the world. This is called Thingy World. So we go over here to us. Thingy number three right here. Nice. In Nevada. Cool. So you can track your your electric bike, if it gets stolen to the other side of the planet, Ex you'll know. Exactly, exactly. We have a lot of customers who are doing uh, asset tracking for pallet applications, for fleet car applications, all sorts of applications. My region, the southeast of the US, has a number of customers in asset tracking, so I'm very familiar with this product. You need to hide a few of those into the cyber truck. That's right, that's Just right. Just make sure that, uh, you know, if people try to steal it and bring it to uh, no. Munich, no. uh, to Germany. No way, There's no know where it is, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, we also have a demo over here for yeah. power management ICs. So Nordic as a company is very, very focused on extremely long battery life. Um, that's, our, that's been our focus for a very long time. Extremely low battery, extremely long battery life, extremely low power use and connectivity. So we thought, well, a better way to improve the whole path of development 
the whole product lifecycle than to start at the battery. So previously we just interfaced with another power management IC, but we decided we were going to develop our own. So this is uh, the solution from uh, another uh, company, maybe where they wear cowboy hats. So this is a discrete, discrete solution. Or excuse me, it's, it's a solution with a number of discrete parts. This is our solution. It's about a quarter, about a quarter, a third of the board area of the competing solution with all the same functions and actually some more functions than the other solution. So we have this... Um, it looks a bit like a miniature ranch. Yes, yes it does, which would yeah. be funny, right? Where, where are ranches at normally there's, in the U.S., right? I don't know. There's two cows over here. That's right. Okay. So this is our solution, this tiny little uh, wafer level chip scale package, very small with all the same functions that's, uh, that you see on the other board. We actually have a wonderful desktop application to, con uh, to control this, this PMIC. So you can see, uh, I'm going to manipulate the uh, buck one voltage and you'll be able to see it in real time update here. So it's actually controlled over I squared C. So you can see, you can configure it at runtime. You're also able to configure a couple of these uh, based on a resistor value pull down. But most of the device is configured over I squared C. So it has a battery charger. It's very interesting because you can actually characterize your own battery. So you don't have to send it off to the manufacturer. You can characterize it in your own office. Um, two regulators, uh, two buck regulators, two LDO regulators that can also function as load switches, which is a very highly integrated chip. Um, has a ship hold if you're, you have an electronic device without a removable battery that needs to uh, stay charged over a long period of time on a shelf or something similar. So that keeps the battery disconnected. Um, yeah, it's, it's an ex excellent PMIC. It's uh, entered mass production at the beginning of the year, a little bit late last year. So um, it's a very exciting product. All right, so it's a great CES 2024. It's Before been wonderful, yeah. Uh, a lot of people at the booth. Yeah, and a it's, lot of uh, partnerships. It's been very, very busy. Um, the the salespeople have been in meetings all day. I've been out here talking to a lot of uh, different customers, a lot of different applications. Um, so it's it's been very, very good. This is actually my first CES. CES. Yeah. So. Yeah. CES. Yeah. It's too big, actually. If uh, you had to walk around, it'll, uh, it'll yeah. take me months. I need like an e-bike. I, I want like a, a electric uh, skateboard, right? I think that's really that's the, the best way to get around. That's in the whole sixty thousand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>